Hey guys, this is Grenade Launcher 101 here, back at it with Splinter Cell Double Agent version 2 for the PS2 in the Choice A route. The last mission will be, unfortunately, JBA Headquarters Part 2. But the good news is, I will show you the aftermath effects of that um, regard. So, just stick around for that and see what it brings. I was the one who had to break the news about Hamza to the CIA. Considering what Dufresne was planning, Hamza would have agreed with my decision. Dufresne was receiving five red mercury devices. All of them were going to be detonated at the same time. One of them was going to be on the all-cost tank to be taken into Los Angeles Harbor. The second was being chopped to Nashville, where the president was making an appearance. And the last three were for New York City. But first, Emil smuggled the bombs into the States through his headquarters in New Orleans. While I was back there, I managed to sneak into the restricted area again. But I'm sure you remember that. The Red Mercury devices have been shipped to the JBA using a shell shipping company. The devices are about to be transferred to their final destination. Now this is what we'll be doing for choice A. I know it probably seems evil, but this is, if you're choosing choice, if you're doing the choice A route, that's what you're getting. That's how you do it. Lambert, I'm back in the restricted area. Now, as a result, this mission will be shorter than usual. Because... You won't have to maneuver around guys too often. And I'll show you why. Once the Mercury devices have been secured, Third Echelon will dismantle the JBA and any of its affiliates. For that to happen, a list of something. Damn it. There we go. Come on, controller. Don't act up now. Uh, I thought I heard something. Fuck. Sorry about that. Okay. This time we're gonna go hit slow. Back up. Real exposed. I was really on the gravel, we'll just be. Better keep. Fuck! Alright, I'm over by the door. This is probably very risky. But it's whatever. Are you playing tricks on me? I'm sure this wasn't open earlier. It wasn't. Mind your business. But luckily, we won't have to pass by him again. Um, what? I was about to say, are you stuck there, sir? <laughs> I don't think I've seen that happen before, but I'm glad I did see it. But, uh, going to save here real quick. Okay.
So I think getting around this camera is a bit tricky. So I'm gonna have to time it. Or at least do it at an angle where the camera's not looking. Shit. Okay, let's do this, I guess. I'll wait until the lasers disappear. Then do this. And once I come up here, then OCP it. First, I have to wait until he turns around. Did not forget about that. Okay, cool. Alright. I'm hacking it. I don't give a damn. Because either way, my cover's gonna be blown anyway. So... Yeah. Oh fuck. Um this might fuck me over. Lambert for the mission. Sorry. I want to see the contents of your PDA. Find a computer and make it happen. Now. There's a computer right there. What are you talking about? All right. The mission can continue. For now. Yeah, for now. So... This guy's gonna come over here. It's gonna take long, so I'm not gonna make you guys wait. I'll just get back to you guys in three, two, one. Hey guys, I'm joking. It's Noah's birthday. <laughs> well, let's close this door, though. Back into his keypad right here. I'm waiting until that camera. Okay, here we go. Use my optic cables to look in here. Make sure no one's around. Gonna save here. And I'm back. So. We got a sample of the red mer mercury, which is in the room to my left. Steel Emil's contact list, which is upstairs. So. We're gonna steal his contacts list first. Before we go fuck. Damn it, it's Jim. Sorry about that. That was a little bit of a fuck up. But anyways, here we go.
This is some real close quarters here. All right. Now, all we have to do is get in here. But first, before we go in there, to wait for this guy right here. Now, let's sample the red mercury. save here all right so now our objective is to either disable the bombs prevent the bombs defusal or no disable the bombs or prevent the bombs defusal and here we got to use a computer in the bunkers communications room to contact Emil's men and tell them to leave with the bombs right away using an alternate route. This will make it e this will make it harder for third echelon to locate the bombs in transit and may prevent them from defusing them before they reach their destination. Now, luckily, there is a computer that will complete this objective in the next room over. So let's do this. Now, before we do, do though, we, we have to save here. Okay, now the only reason I say we should save there is because there still could be an enemy. There still could be that enemy patrolling in here. You never know, but either way, we're going to do this to prove it, whether he is or not. The next thing we do is get right on this computer. You know what? We're just going to use our EEV for this. Shit. Let's see if we can get lucky. Likely we won't be. Damn it. Let's do this. Fisher, I want to see you 
forgot. I forgot I had to do that. Hold on. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just sit here and wait for the guard to come over here so that when he turns around, we can go straight for the computer. So, should be just right around the corner here. Yep, here he comes. And he turns around. Sign of him leaving. Okay, so now we're gonna wait a little longer. Now I'm going to save here, mainly because you need something to go back on in case you get spotted by this kid and the right here. So, instead of opening the door, just look, use your optic cables to look under the door. Once you go through, you can go through. Now, once you get up here... Save right here. Here we go. Alrighty. Here we go. Um, dude, why are you glitching on me? Is this supposed to be some glitch? It's either you come over here, or I go over here. Thank you. All right. Here we go. Exfiltrate. Okay, so while we are, are while we are done with the gameplay, we still got I had some cutscenes to go through. So Let's watch this next cutscene here. I killed Lambert. Yes, you did. You believe the mission required it, and you 
acted accordingly. Is that how you justify what you did? Yeah, so I thought about that, and no, it doesn't justify, justify anything at all. Like hell you did. I was the one who kept telling you that. Zip it, dumbass. Can you just tell me to keep the noise down? Now, I cut back here just so you guys can see the trust meter, the double-edged sword thing, on where it leads us to. Williams, my cover's blown. Emil's instructed his men to kill on sight. Okay, Fisher. Plan B. As you can see, either route you take, A or B, the, the trust mirror will always go to the NSA side. I'm sending other units, but they may not arrive so no matter which path you take, must be that's basically Hurry, your con that's Hurry, basically the no end of like being a double agent, Leave her out basically. Of this she doesn't deserve this. So yeah. You have your orders. I'm gonna try and see if I can uh, cut to the credits, like the bad ending, with the with the bombs like blowing up and stuff. I'll get back to you guys here. All right, we should be able to hit the credits now and then see the bad ending. indicates that the blast may have been nuclear in nature and authorities are estimating a death toll in the hundreds of thousands we thought it was an earthquake said one witness but then we looked up toward the water and saw the cloud i wish it was an earthquake we will continue to bring you all the breaking news on this tragic series of events this just in we have word of a massive explosion in Nashville where the president was speaking earlier today. It is believed that the president and those in attendance were killed in the blast. Authorities are responding to fires which continue to blaze out of control throughout the city and are trying to extend emergency aid to the thousands of wounded survivors. Vice President Lee Wendell, when informed, vowed to find those responsible and bring them to justice. Well, that was a bad ending for you. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I'm going to be doing version 2 for the original Xbox next for the choice A route. It's going to take me a, a while to get things figured out, but I'll, but. When I have my videos uploaded, you'll know be you'll be able to know when exactly it is up and running and continuing. So without a further ado, app. Ah, with that being said, if any of what I have showed you in this choice A route has helped you so far, or in any like Anything that I use for a ghost run in any context, really, you're welcome. As always, this is Grenade Launcher 101. Not signing off just yet because I want to see the credits here. You can try and slow this down if you want to.
All right, so I'm just gonna speed it up. Not too much, though. Hold up. Gone but not forgotten. We remember our friend and colleague, Yannick Frankor. I don't really know how to pronounce that. But either way, yes, this game was basically based off the memory of him. So, yeah. A lot of studio team. Yeah. Music composed by behavior. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. This is Grenade Launcher 101 signing off. Take care, guys.